Okay. Before I discuss this, I want to ask you one question. Do you put targets before you um, start any work? Because targets can actually help you to focus better. I mean, for me, it's always been competition with time. Well, my motivational trigger is always competing with time. I put 10 minutes of timer. Well, measure your focus before you start a task. This is one of the hacks that I want to mention in this video. Uh, while you're actually going to read, while you start studying, just on your timer, go with the flow and recognize that point where you get distracted and stop the timer and see how much time you're able to focus. Then always have if, for example, if um, my concentration of focus is only for 10 minutes and after every 10 minutes, I take 30 seconds of deep breath or breath exercise or something that helps me to focus back on my studies. So after every 10 minutes, I start um, doing this uh, little, little tiny 30 seconds break. And in 10 minutes, how much I have to complete? I have a particular target. So your motivational trigger, your particular target and measuring your focus. Three things have to be must while you plan your study times or while you plan to study for one hour, 45 minutes, whatever time, particular time. So always have recognize your motivational triggers, by the way. For me, my motivational trigger is competition with time. For you, it might be another thing. For you, it might be um, going for a walk after um, you study or someone for someone it is uh, sitting in green and studying so your motivational trigger can be anything just recognize that first and start implementing it and second have always targets third measure your focus and go accordingly with that okay now i think n number of times n number of youtubers have mentioned this always be clear with your why okay now i don't want to mention it uh like you know your ikigai know your why of your life i'm not going to talk about that but i'm going to particularly stress on one thing for every habit that you're uh, taking uh, to incorporate into your life for every task that you're doing in your day have why for it for me i want to study because i love note making how they do how can they uh, design our notes in such a beautiful way when i scroll pen interest i'm literally um, surprised and uh, i also love to make notes for others i love study facts so these are the interests that i have and that makes me feel a little bit uh, inspired to study every single day and i also like to um, you know uh, catch that book and note down imagining myself in such a way where i have a target goal in my life by the way i'm not going to reveal that so even that's my why so yeah these kind of imaginations and visualizations help me to um, focus better during my study time and push me a little bit give me that initial push to uh, set that inertia break the resistance and set and sit in while i uh, my alarm go on during my study time well i have a lot of alarms I'll, I'll just show you wait can you just see them like uh, whenever I study uh, the purpose like why I'm studying at that time for example if I have to take an online class for a particular student then the alarm goes on at that particular time telling that this is your study time now I also read a lot about social media so I have given a particular period of time for social media uh, management there will be this message popping up SMM love so that makes me feel good and uh, makes me feel like, okay, this is my time for the work that I love. So I have to go and study about it. So in such way, you can set alarms also. By the way, this is an additional tip that I'm giving in this video. So yeah, I hope this helps. So in such way, try to put your why clearly for every single task, every single habit that you're doing in your life. Should I have to mention it? I will. But if you're uh, hearing it for thousandth time, then you have to again because you are taking it so <sighs> not taking it seriously if you're someone who's not uh, following me on instagram then i think this is the right time that you have to follow me on instagram because i keep sharing facts on fridays and uh, every week on my instagram 
and this is a fact that I've shared and this is a person whom I'm talking about in this video that I already mentioned in my Friday fact in my previous weeks in my on my Instagram so if you haven't checked out by the way I'm not going to mention the fact in this video I'll leave the link of my Instagram in the description box below please go and check it out and see what happened if this person uh, this person is a swimmer and uh, he did this because of having a proper sleep in sleep schedule in his life and if you take your sleep seriously this can happen to you also what is it go check my instagram so that's all for today's guys i hope you like this video by the way i mentioned so many additional tips in this video apart from those tips that i promised in initially in this video so yeah i hope you like all these tips and you noted down already all these tips and let me know if you like any kind of tip or you already tried and also comment down below and let me know what is your motivational trigger so I hope this video is truly helpful. Please like it, share it, share it to your families and students, your best friends and uh, to whomever you feel this video can help, please share it. Support this channel, support me if you like my work and my content and I'm trying to add a little bit of value and on also on my Instagram and also, yeah, threads. If you're on threads, you can follow me on threads also. I'll leave all the links in the description box below and yeah that's all um, stay energetic and stay focused bye